Once you get them uh, made, I put toothpicks in my holes that I pre-put in here so I could see where everything was at. If you yank it out of here, stick your tree in, voila, you got yourself a tree. isn't the last step I'm gonna do with these trees I'm going to uh, actually I'm gonna spray some spray adhesive on them and I'm gonna dust them with a little bit to break up some of just the solid colors a little bit and I'll show you that when I get to it yeah I'm gonna try to make me a red bud tree well, I had to rob a few things here before I could try this red bud tree experiment. One, I had to go to my grandson's crayons and uh, find a crayon color like this hot pink. I may mix another color or two with it to, to get that color that I just showed you on that. Uh, well, I'll show you again. That's the color I'm looking for. It has no green on this tree at all. Now, I'm sure that they... Uh, has some green on it and then it blooms to this and nobody takes a picture of it when it's green so I'm gonna leave some green on mine and then put some blooms on it too so I had to rob some crayons for color and uh, this little cheese grater fine cheese grater I'll have to use this and put it back up where mama catches me with it but uh, I looked on the uh, line to find the colored foam and you really can't find that stuff there's some stuff on ebay and i'm not buying anything off of ebay right now but the shipping on it was nine dollars a piece for a four dollar bag so i found another guy on youtube that just used these crayons so i'm going to try it all he did was get uh, some covered flakes and he would tear these uh, crayons up and get little pieces. You see them? So let me do that, and I'll get a big old, I'll get a big old pile of these pink ones, and I'll show it to you. Well, I almost scratched the whole crayon down, and it doesn't look like a lot, except for if you flip it over. Half of it's still stuck to the back of this thing, so you know it takes a takes a bit of cleaning to get all this stuff off. It looks like it's got some static to it too, so it's a little a little weird to play with. But you see, I got a big old pile of pink stuff, and we'll try to find a way to put this on the tree. Well, I need to find me one of my trees here that, that looks a little sparse. I think I'm going to do the one right here by the by the station. I yank it out and then uh, take a lot of the green off from it, or some of the green off from it. And then uh, try me some red bud. Yeah, I'm just going to pick some of this stuff off. Make it look a, like a little bit of green. And uh, a whole lot of pink. Now, is this a perfect model of a red bud tree? Probably not, but at least I'm gonna put a little color in it. Okay, now to get some stick back to it, I think I'm gonna use a little spray adhesive. Yeah, this is some uh, 3M Super 77. Yeah, it looks like it sprays like garbage.
That ought to be sticky enough. Let's go try some flowers. Yeah, let's see how I can do this. I'm just going to sprinkle some from the top side. I think all the flowers hang on the bottom side anyway. If not, they do on my red bud trees. Let me finish this and I'll get back with you. Okay, after sprink sprinkling a little bit, looks like I got some pink on it. And uh, let's see if I can. So it's not all the way pink and it's not all the way green, it just has some pink in it. So we're gonna go with that. And I think now I'm gonna just spray it with some clear coat, get this stuff to stick. And yeah, let's see, some Rust-Oleum clear mat. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. It's definitely got clear mat on it and it's pink. So let's go let her dry and put her on the track. Yeah, and that's how my little pink tree ended up. Does it look like a red bud? Yeah, I don't know. It's got pink blooms on it. And uh, it's going to have to work. I think it looks okay. After I got all the trees done and stuck in the holes, then I pulled every one of them back out. And I'll show you what I did with each one of them. This is the one I'm going to go after now. Come in there. All I did was go through and clean them up, get all this extraneous stuff that's hanging off, and make sure that uh, it just looks in good shape. Anything that just doesn't look like a tree, and just clean it up. And then some of these limbs, like this one, lost all of it, so I'll grab me a little piece and stick me some back on there and push it on so it holds a little bit. It just make the tree look a little bit better. Everything looks pretty good there. Maybe a little bit more up on this one. piece okay once I got that done I take my super 77 then I take my burnt grass and just dust it on a little bit to break up the solid look of it. Eh, it looks a little different. Gives a couple different textures. Once I uh, get all that stuff on there, then I'll take my clear mat and I'll dust it. I'll take all the sticky off from it and make all that other stuff stick. And then I plant it. So all these little trees look pretty shiny and plasticky. And I want some extra limbs and stuff to throw on the ground. So what I did was I hit them with some spray adhesive. Let me see if I bring it up here. 
and uh, just lightly dust them with the uh, earth and uh, that's what I'm gonna do these fallen pines and I'll throw those on the ground up there get some extra little pieces laying around okay that's gonna finish up for these trees I'm gonna do a quick run through join music See every place out on the line Now I've been up and down And I've seen every town It takes a big black train to free my mind All oh, the boxcars, they rattle As they cross the rail ends Small towns, they all look the same Well, those big wheels are rolling And that lonesome whistle blowing I ride them all the time Cause I like trains All right. 